And it sent a very serious signal. It said that Twitter was prepared to use a mechanism that was designed to verify someone's authenticity to ensure that the public knew that they were speaking to the real person. And for example, if a source is DMing me to be sure that the privilege was in place, there are legal implications too, you know, where it's journalists, where journalists are concerned. Um, and all sorts of other things. Uh, that they were going to use it as an ideological uh, weapon. And we've seen this before, that the direction of um, censorship and um, uh, of punishment always flows in one direction. It's only ever conservatives. Um, pro progressives can say kill all white men uh, with, that, with impunity. You will never, that Twitter has never and will never ban anyone from its network for saying kill all white men. You say kill all Muslims, you're banned tomorrow. Um, you know, this is, uh, this, is, this is not even in question. Twitter is now an actively progressive uh, engine of propaganda. And I say that with no hint of exaggeration. They have made a decision. They have decide, decided what side they're on in the culture wars. They went. They, this was a calculated decision of theirs. They thought, right, let's pick a conservative. We're going to go for him, and we're going to strip his verification away. They knew it was a political mo uh, move, and let's just. I think it was them testing the water. Like, let's see what happens when we do this. And the reaction has been gigantic from all sides of the political spectrum, from journalists, from comedians, from ordinary people all over. They're like, you cannot do this. Um, you know what they've done is. They've they've lowered my um, st uh, standing in searches, for instance, because now I'm you know I don't I don't pop up to the top of searches or whatever. So in effect, um, when there's a debate happening, by and large, the journalists who are let, let's say there's a debate about the wage gap, by and large, the journalists who will be defending the fallacious lie-ridden status quo will be verified journalists from Vox and all the rest of it, and the conservatives who are coming with facts and studies, by and large, not very. Um, so th this is one of the ways in which they, you know, that they can use to tilt the public debate. But here's the key thing. If Twitter has decided that it is going to be partisan, that it has picked a side in the culture wars, that it is going to go all in on identity politics, it's going to be pro third wave feminism, pro uh, Black Lives Matter, pro all of this kind of stuff, it should be honest with its users. Because this kind of opaque, um, uh, the sort of opaque uh, um, terms of service they have at the moment and arbitrary enforcement of them is destroying user trust in the platform. And this is at a time, let's remember, that Twitter stock is tanking, that the user base is leveling off if not going down. <laughs>